mic'd up? Yeah, bro. I love you. <laughs> That's awkward. Oh, no! 2017 marked the 50th season NFL Films has wired players on the field. It was better than Desperate Housewives. <laughs> Over 1,200 players have worn a mic since 1967. Let's take home what we came for! That's Baltimore Ravens Ray Lewis and Terrell Suggs are two of the more memorable players to wear a wire. In the heart of Ravens country is the town of Parkville, Maryland. For 30 years, if you went to the Emerald Tavern in Parkville, you'd likely find Bill Saul tending bar. There you go. Oh, you're welcome. He passed away in 2006. I don't think so. Today, you'll find a memorial on the wall, honoring Saul as the Emerald's most famous bartender. Why? Well, it might have a little bit to do with another distinction he holds. OK, baby, let's go right from the start. In 1967, Saul, then a linebacker with the Steelers, was the first player to wear a wire for NFL films. We brought his children and grandchildren back to the Emerald to watch footage from that historic day, wired for sound, just like old number 50. I knew that he was the first person that was wired. I'd seen the uh, video, but it was edited. My mother would tell me about him being the first player wired for sound was what the way she put it. And I didn't even really have an understanding of what that was because I was so young. Too young to even be at the stadium for that game between the Steelers and Redskins. Oh, wow. That's, walking into the stadium with Mom. Look at that. Oh, my gosh, it's a pop-up. Oh, my God. The beehive. The beehive. The beehive. Oh, my gosh. She was a fashion plate. <laughs> Rodney, let's get him, buddy. Come on. John, let's go. Let's go. I love that. You do, too. It seemed a little more real, like a little more personal, because, like, I mean, I love Terrell Suggs. Can we be who we are? All we need is each other. He's All a hype man, but I think with Pop Pop, it was kind of like personal, right, going to each player. Go, buddy, come on, boy. You can do it. Paul, let's go. Round right, watch it draw. It was a one of a kind voice. Double wing left, play it. Come on, let's really stick him. Uh, it makes me melt to hear it now. It just it brings everything right back. Right, okay. As commanding as that voice is there, it was even more commanding if you were in trouble. <laughs> Damn it, let's get some points! Saul wasn't a star. So why him as the first NFL film's wire? He was an unlikely choice to be wired, but yet he was the perfect choice because he wasn't a high-profile player. And what they thought they would get was the real deal. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Come on, come on, it's it, it's it. Damn it, he's not that good. <laughs> they said he didn't even know he was liked once the game got rolling. Sucker! <laughs> Holy <laughs> That's stupid. Hi. If it wasn't my dad, you guys dubbed that in. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, don't let up, man. Don't let up. It seemed like he left everything out on the field. He looked tired when it was <laughs> over. There's one moment the mic captured that the Saul family would like to clarify. We're not allowed, boy. We're not allowed. Somebody asked him for a piece of equipment. He wasn't allowed to give it. It devastated him through his entire life. Probably explain that 2,000 times that it was not an autograph because I want to go on record as saying I never refused a kid an autograph. Grand good. Good luck. Good luck to you. As humble as he was, I'm not as humble. I'll go and tell everybody, you know. Nice to meet you. I'm Eric. My grandfather was the first person I was trying to tell films. Stick it down her ear.